vessels will break open. You can just pour the seeds out. Now, morning glory seeds do contain uh, an emetic, a sickening agent called ester coumarone, and that's going to cause you uh, some nausea in the first hour. And what you do is you take, and now this is a committed dose, we're not talking, you know, we're talking this will definitely rivet your full attention. Uh, take about 225 seeds, grind them up uh, in, a, in a coffee grinder or something like that. And I always used to put them into a, a milkshake or applesauce because what you end up with is a, a fairly daunting, a dauntingly large pile of kind of crumbly, dry, bitter, evil-smelling stuff, which you've got to get down. So put it into some uh, some applesauce or something like that. And then uh, on an empty stomach, in silent darkness or out in nature. And uh, this is not to be underestimated. This is not some kind of, gee, if only we had the real thing kind of strategy. This is the real thing. And uh, wonderful hallucinations of, uh, in my case, the, the motifs of the Toltec and Aztec civilization that actually utilized these things, which, you know, raises other questions we could discuss another time. But that's a, no, a, a word of caution. Don't go out now and buy a bunch of packages of these morning glory seeds and grind them up and take them because these weasels who sell these seeds have uh, soaked them all in a poison. They've soaked them in a poison, a fungicide. D d it says right on them, not for human consumption. They're not just whistling Dixie. Uh, that's why you have to grow your own crop to get a clean crop of these things. And then you have a ticket to ride. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. I want to thank the Phoenix Bookstores.